One, two, three. All right, welcome to attempt number three, filming a tutorial. Audio and VR and Windows and streams just seem to be really finicky. Okay. So, uh, after you have gotten your Vorpex uh, driver installed, uh, basically, double click it and it will start running. And it will show up in the bottom right, and that will let you know that it is up and going. Make sure to have your Star Citizen launcher already set and ready to roll. And that way, uh, whenever you launch, uh, it will pop into Vorpex first. Basically, the way Vorpex works is that whenever you launch anything, uh, it will hook into that for VR purposes. So if you don't have your launcher up and running for Star Citizen, it'll try to hook into that. So now that that's done, we launch into the game. So Vorpex, I'm going to show you just basically completely works. No questions asked. It should just be ready to go. And I'm going to teach you a couple little ins and outs and tricks to get it working a little bit better. But basically, it works. The image and stuff will track properly. You just got to know what controls that you need to set up with for Star Citizen because the bindings are also done to the joystick and mouse for your look access. All right, cool. So now that we are in the Star Citizen menu, hit the middle mouse button, and that gets Edge Peak for, Vor for Vorp X. Now, what we're going to do is hit delete, and we are going to, if this is your first time running, the main settings uh, for Vorpex can be accessed by hitting delete. What you're going to do is go to immersive screen mode. At the very top, you're going to switch that to cinema to full VR for playstyle. In main settings, playstyle needs to be in full VR. Hit OK and save. Then middle mouse button turns on your edge peak, which allows you to uh, see the corners of your menus and your screens that you can actually do stuff with finally in VR, because normally it just puts it to you the edges of your peripherals. So we're going to go to options and I'm going to, sh to basically completely get everything back to default. Reset the defaults, keyboard to keyboard, mouse to mouse, joystick joystick load boom okay everything is defaulted now so we go visit the Stanton system okay while it's loading the issue that you're gonna have is that Everything as far as view control and Star Citizen and Vorpex works from the ground up for FPS. It's so once you tie controllers and ships into the thing that all these double, triple bound options start to mess with each other and that's where you get a problem with. The game works just fine. The controllers and everything work just fine. It's just the view controls are now tripled, which is the big issue. But as you can see, stock out of the box, Vorpex just freaking works. No, well, I heard that. But as you can see here, I can look around and check out the big Benny's noodles that somebody left behind. Check out Hort Zone. Hurt, hurt Zone? Hort Horror Zone? Hort Horizon. Okay, I can't read. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, my view is tethered up and down, left and right, to my look controls on my uh, headset. But it also is on my mouse. What do you know? Um, nothing on my joystick because I'm walking in FPS mode. So, let's go down to our ship launch control and get the ship. Um, mouse forward in Star Citizen engages the speed of your character, and then you can hold down shift to really, really run. Alright, welcome to the Alistar ship console. Hold down F to use, and then you're going to want to hit middle mouse button for Vorp X, and that's going to bring your edge peak, and then you can actually see all the corners of your menu and stuff. 
So we're going to launch the Cutlass Black. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. All right. B07. And as soon as I get out of the menu, I hit middle mouse button and then it takes off that. Now, some issue that some of you might see is that it is in Vorpex, the image is not completely taking up all your peripherals. To fix that, all you got to do is hold down the shift button and then zoom in with your middle mouse button and then Vorpex will zoom to your peripherals and just do that until it basically gets rid of all the black around your screen. And now it's a much more immersive image. Now, let's get out to my cutlass. Okay. Actually, don't think this is the right door, but we'll walk around. Yeah, okay. Oh, my. Somebody's taken off in the ever popular. Um, oh, what are those called? Connie's Constellation. I do want one of those, but I also want every ship. Okay, so we go up to here. Looking good. And boom, there's my ship. Okay, so, you installed Vorpex, you loaded up Star Citizen, you go, hey, it works with mouse and keyboard. I got my joystick hooked up. Oop. There we go. Okay. Hit T to turn on and off your light, by the way, if it's too dark for you. But yeah, you go up and you're like, now my HOTAS controls will surely work. Correct? Well, even if you've key bound them before, which shouldn't be done if we're using complete default controls, you're going to have some issues. But middle toggle down on the X52 Pro should turn on everything. It's not. Escape, middle mouse button to edge peek through Vorpex. Now, time to get working. Key bindings. Advanced controls, control profiles. We're going to go to the X52 Pro or whatever your corresponding setup is. And we're just going to get a default layout going. Boom. Then we're going to test that to see if it works by hitting the middle toggle down. Oh, no, sorry, not middle toggle. Far right toggle. Okay, as you can see, I can't really look around. It will look around with the uh, targeting reticle, but not my actual head. So if you hold down Z, it allows you to actually free look. But if you t hit Z, it'll toggle your free look. Well, what do you know? Now I can actually look around in the cockpit. Now what I can't do is tilt my head or move up and down. It's just literally the view. Y and X axis. So, surely this should be working, right? Well, let's go. We'll take off the pad and strafe upwards with the left hand D pad for the stick. Alrighty. Oh no, when I move my stick, it's tied to my look because I have my free toggle off. So, we want the ability to be able to hold that F and actually mouse around and click things as well as look with our head while holding F. So we want our view definitely bound to the mouse. That's not an issue. What we don't need is the view bound to the joystick whenever it's out of um, a free toggle look. So what we're gonna do easily is hit escape, middle mouse button to edge peek, options, key bindings. And we're gonna go to advanced and then we're gonna go all the way to the right at the bottom here. I'm gonna switch it over to the joystick HOTAS. And we're going to go to Flight View. Now, as we see here, look left and right is on the X axis. We're going to right click to delete that. And look up and down is on the Y axis. Right click to delete that. Boom. And then the last thing you're going to want to do over here, dynamic zoom in and out. On the X axis, there's a little mouse wheel on your left hand on the X52. 
And if you accidentally bump into that, that's going to zoom in your picture because it acts like you're holding down the Z key or F key and then scrolling in with your mouse. So that's how you zoom in in FPS in Star Citizen anyways. So to get rid of that and make that less of a headache in the future, we're going to get rid of that right now. So those three settings, look left, right axis, look up, down axis, and dynamic zoom axis, we're going to get rid of and escape out. Middle mouse button to turn off the warp edge peak. And then, boom, sure enough, now we are flying, gents. Okay. Take off the landing gear, really get her going. Target out there. Alright, so let's test the weapons. Everything seems to be working. And as you can see, I got full aim control with my head look. So everything is fine. Now, the only thing left to do is just a little special feature which I have for my setup. And which you can do too if you end up getting a full... A full metal, a uh, full pedal and wheel setup for racing. You can do quite a lot with it. Alright, so we're going to hit the middle toggle down. That's going to turn on my landing gear. Landing gear down. Alright, escape options now i like to include my pedals down below for a couple of extra tools key binding advanced i'm gonna go to joystick hotas going to go to flight movement and just to give me a little bit of extra straightforward now these are reversed and i found this out through a bunch of testing so straightforward we're actually going to put on the brake button and rebinds to my second game input, number two, which is my wheel and pedals. Strafe backwards, and we're going to put onto the throttle, and that's Z-axis, Y-axis. Controller number two, done. Back. Return to game. And now, boom. Oh, hang on, middle mouse button to un to unpeak edge. And now, as you can see... I have a nice little forward, backwards thrust sublight engines that'll let me pinpoint landing procedure. See down into Olisar now. Okay, so the only thing to do now is to land and get this tutorial finished. Hang on here. Gotta get that cinematic shot. Alright, so we'll park it in front of the Olisar hab. Hit F, and we zoom in with the middle mouse button. And then we go to comms, all the way down to port all our landing services, and select. And then we hail them. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Oh, what do you know? It's this one right here. We got it, we got it, we're cool. And boom, bring her down. Boom, and we're out. You can hold down F and power off or use the third toggle down on the X-52 to cycle your power options. Hold down F and look right to escape. Warning, you are blocking an active flight main. Please vacate the vicinity. Alrighty, folks. Initiating ship storage. Boom. Procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, snap. Somebody else landed here. Well, there you go. So anyways, folks, well, that's it for my VR Citizen tutorial. Uh, stay safe. Fly right.